Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb of God. <laughs> Man, God is good. God is... There's no words in the human vocabulary that can describe how awesome, how mighty, how sovereign, how amazing God is. There's no words to describe it. So I just wanted to encourage somebody. And uh, I want to share this, this, this testimony with y'all on the goodness of God. <laughs> you know, God will fight our battles for us. God will avenge us. God will deal with the people that's afflicting us. If we're obeying the Lord, we're walking in obedience, and we leaning on Him to fight our battles for us rather than us to retaliate or rather us try to take vengeance on our own, God will deal with them. People, you know, that talk about you, people that mistreat you, people that run their mouth behind your back, God to deal with them. My friend, God said this in the book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 22. It's written, but if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an adversary unto thine adversary. The Lord said, if we obey him, he will become an enemy to our enemies. An adversary to our adversaries. I want to share this. This happened at work. So I just got off of work. And um, man, this, this is this just blew my mind. I just got off of work and these past few weeks, I've been getting afflicted by this guy at work. You know, every time I walk in, he just and he's like the lead, the lead man. Well, what was the lead man over me? So I had to do what he told me to do. You know, and I could tell he didn't like me, which, you know, when you meet somebody and they, they don't like you and they don't even know who you is and you feel with the Holy Ghost, you got to understand that it's a spirit. You know, Paul said we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness and high places, against the principalities, the principalities, the rulers of the darkness of this world. It's evil spirits, you know, and they recognize when you're a child of God. They recognize when you're a disciple of Jesus. They recognize who you are, just like those demons when they said, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. They know who we are. So it's this, this guy. Man, he been afflicting me these past few weeks. Every time I walk in the door to work, you know, sometimes I dread. I'm like, Lord, I, I don't want to deal with him today. You know, he'll do things like, you know, make me do unnecessary things at work. Knowing that he got authority over me or had authority over me and I had to do what he told me to do. You know, and he's been doing this for the past few weeks. And um, he, he'll run his mouth about me. You know, he'll say things out in existence. You know, mocking the Lord, you know, because, you know, I'm born again. But he was just doing a lot of things to afflict me. You know, he'll he'll say things about me to the other co-workers, you know, and I ain't do nothing to this man. Nothing at all. You know, but as he was doing these things, what I would do is it would be times I go off in the bathroom and I just start praying because I used to be a gangster. You know, and I didn't put up with people running their mouth about me. I, I was that guy, I hit you in your mouth, you know. And I would find myself, but you know, the Lord gave me a new heart. So I would find myself going to the bathroom just praying and asking God, Lord, please deal with him, Lord God. Please, please walk in this place or let him feel your presence, Lord. Please save him, Lord. And I would say, Father, forgive him for he know not what he do. So I would just, I would just pray. You know, that's all I would do. I would pray. I, I would ask God to, to fight this battle for me because I knew it was the devil using him to afflict me. You know, and I've been dealing with it for weeks, you know. And uh, so let me tell you what happened today. This really just happened a few hours ago. <coughs> so this happened around two song, matter of fact. So anyway, I seen him when he was leaving out of the, out of the, uh, from the workplace. And... He was angry or whatever, but I didn't know what was going on. You know, I'm just over here working. So later on, as it, as we come to a close on the job, uh, one of the coworkers was like, hey, did you hear about such and such? I was like, no, nah, man, I just be minding my own business. Come do my job, get this money and go home, man. He was like, well, man, I got to tell you what just happened. So anyway, he's told me that my boss 
the, the lead man or whatever, the one that's been afflicting me, had got fired. So, you know, I was like, okay. I just thought it was a rumor. So, uh, the supervisor came, and uh, I was like, hey, man, did such and such get fired? He was like, yeah, and he started telling me why, and the reason he got fired, because he started something with somebody, somebody else, and ended up cussing them out, and that person ended up going to the office talk, telling on them, and so he ended up getting called to the office, and he ended up cussing out the boss boss, <coughs> and he got fired. And man, when this happened, I was like, Lord, you just avenged me. Lord, you just avenged me. And now guess what? Tomorrow I'm going to be in his position. So I, I, I'm giving God, I'm rejoicing in my heart. Couldn't wait to get to my car. I'm rejoicing in my heart on the job. So I get off, I get in my car. I start praising the Lord because God has avenged me. He always avenged me, man. Every time, all we got to do is submit to the Lord, humble ourselves, let people run their mouth, let people talk about you, let people say what they want to say, let them mistreat you, hallelujah. Like Jesus said, pray for your enemies. He said, love your enemies, pray for your enemies. Father, forgive them for they know not what they're doing. God will show up and he will avenge us. And I have just witnessed this. Romans 12, 19, dearly beloved. Avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. The Lord said vengeance belongs to him. We don't got to do nothing. We don't got to retaliate. We don't got to say anything. All we got to do is hold our peace. The Lord shall fight for us. God will fight your battles for you. God will be an enemy to your enemies, my friend. Just hold your peace. This battle belongs to the Lord. Be blessed.